welcome this is the energy vibration reading for all sun moon and rising Tauruses for the month of July 2017 and I want to say to each and every person out there thank you for being here thank you for returning it is going to be um, a month of changes because the intergalactic beams are coming in you'll be working um, most closely with um, your um, cosmic family for the people who are connected with the cosmos and this is going to be a profoundly wonderful month for you guys because a lot of changes are coming in and as this earth sign you have to do a lot of work and for you Tauruses it's going to be um, the changing of the guards and that sort of a thing because you're working back um, because you um, with the influence of the 13 planets um, the changes are going to start to come in in the month of July I want to say to each and every one remember to listen to the general readings and please um, if this is your first time please subscribe and um, thank you thank you thank you to all the new subscribers I want to say to each and every person out there I'm sending you love and light and I'm hoping that your life will start to vibrate in a positive way because this is what these readings are all about um, Please remember to listen to your sun, moon, and rising sign because this is going to be very important going in the second half of the year. Okay, so for the month of July, what do we have? We have the energy of the star for the month of July. So the month of July brings in a lot of wonderful possibilities for you, Tauruses, but yet still it's going to help you to change certain aspects of yourself. So this is extremely, extremely good. Okay, the um, month is the month of an air sign. And you begin the month with a water energy for the first two months and you end the month with the energy vibration of uh, the um, the fire sign okay so the zodiac is going to be water and fire so it's going to be cleansing so you will see these energies coming in where there is a lot of end and endings and new beginnings are happening it's a lot of cleansing coming in your life so this is going to be wonderful and positive for you guys as um, I look at your month it's going to be good because um, the third week is going to be your best best week the third week is going to be your best week okay the fourth week is uh, you're ending the month with a sense of um, your own energy vibration coming in to balance out the month so um, um, for these four weeks because this month carries four weeks um, you have to deal with a lot of things with relationship um, in the first week in the second week um, the energy of love is going to come in clarity you're no no more um, in you know not seeing things clearly things are going to be clear because uh, um, the energy of emotion is in the reverse form in the third week is going to be a profoundly positive week uh, your materialists materialistic world um, miracles are going to happen and we need to understand and bring in the fate of miracle and understand that miracle do happen in people lives your week um, is going to be the third week it's going to be a positive week the first week is going to be with relationships okay and the first week is carrying the energy of uh, um, fire it's, it's, it's having the energy of fire in the first week and it all has all to do with relationships in the first week as we look at the second week the confusion um, that you're having in your head um, which you have the blue energy and yet still a purple energy and the blue energy is connecting with Archangel Michael the purple is connecting with Archangel Metatron the spiritual world the connection of uh, your solar chakras is going to be the purple so that means it's spirituality as we look at the third week your materialistic aspect or whatever materialistic things that you're looking about your materialistic needs will be taking place because you have the six of uh, Pentacles and as we look further down in the week good news are coming to you a miracle is happening and good news are coming to you so um, the nine of Pentacles is here for you guys in the third week a miracle so there is going to be a miraculous things with money with your materialistic aspect and good news will be coming in in the third week um, 
the focus um, for you guys in this week in this month is going to be the Knight of Cups so whatsoever is happening it can be the Knight of Cups uh, um, is people who are in relationship with water sign people and uh, this is people who are um, between the ages of um, 18 and 35 okay so it's going to affect you guys mostly for the older people it's going to be a wonderful month of you healing certain aspect in yourself and changing certain energy vibration of yourself so this is going to be extremely extremely wonderful okay so the knight of cups is here and the knight of cups he can come in as a casanova if uh, you guys are connecting with people of the um the pisces uh, um the cancers and the scorpion i feel the energy of the scorpion for this knight of cups it can be also the princess of cups so um you'll be um vibrating with these two energies vibration but this is going to be the overall focus for you Tauruses in this week I'm loving this because I'm using the crystal tarot and uh, with a star as the month energy and your energy the Knight of Cups is going to be a profoundly wonderful experience that is happening in your life so this is going to be extremely good um, number nine um, the numbers for you guys is going to be um, it, 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 it's, it's all over the place with the numbers because uh, um, sometimes you get the energy vibration of um, a, a certain specific number that you should look up on and use as your foregoing for this month but um, the the energy of your numbers are not really vivid so you don't need to work on that energy vibration um, you need to uh, focus on yourself focus on yourself because it's all a month about focusing for yourself okay it's all a month of focusing for yourself um, whatsoever is happening and that people were trying to take advantage of situation in your life this is going to um, change this is going to change there are going to be a change of guards in this um, um, month so we're going straight in the reading in the first week it's a fire week and you have the ten of ones in the first week and this situation of the ten of ones in the first week is as if a lot of people seems to be carrying a lot of burdens on their shoulder a lot of burdens a lot of things that you have to deal with in the first week and this is all about the love energy but um, what it is saying for you guys is that even though you feel as if you're being burdened down you're just releasing certain things so that you can start something new so these burdens are, are are going to be falling off at the end of the month you're going to see that these burdens are re being released okay so as I've always said to people call up on the universal angels because they will come in and help you and as you do that um, um, be a, a gratitude is going to be um, your focal point for your chakra healing gratitude because a lot of people um, forget that gratitude is very 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 important and uh, as you look at this whatever the situation is whatever the lesson is uh, which is going to be in love relationships because you see the energy of the heart and its gratitude so what this is saying to you is that open up your heart and saying thank you to people for what they have done um, it doesn't really matter what the lesson is it's a lesson each and every one of us have to have uh, specific lessons that we deal with and uh, we are all here on a journey that we're learning so the energy of the ten of ones and uh, gratitude it is saying to you be um, grateful for whatever this burden is and whatever is happening okay so some people will feel as if you have this huge burden on you in a love sense in a love relationship and that sort of a thing and uh, um, it can be also for some other people that your parents is hell and you have to take care of your parents whatever the situation is that you're feeling burdensome ab ab about be grateful that you are having this experience in your life because not a lot of people um, um, can go through certain situations and yeah you're you're born 
under the sign of the Taurus which is an earth energy vibration but you are really vibrating with the energy of the fire because you're going back with a changing of the 13 signs you're actually an um, an, an Aries person that is working with a fire energy so this is going to be um, the changing of the guards especially in the month of July you're going to see these changes you're going to feel as if you are vibrating in a total different energy vibration which is going to affect you so it's not going to be bad for you Taurus is because you're moving from an earth sign to a fire sign which is just so um, perfect and so powerful especially for the cups people who are the ending of um, the Aries and the beginning of the Virgo this is going to be okay for you there's a spiritual healing and the universal angels and the intergalactic beings are going to come in to help you and they're saying learn to have get gratitude because if you look in this card you will see here behind it's as if you are being protected and you're being um, guided by these universal beams that will be coming in because they've, they're, they've always been here but now they're going to um, show themselves so remember um, they're always behind the scenes protecting you and some of you who are open up to the energies of uh, seeing these beams that they're going to start to come true um, for you so just ask for help with this burden that you're carrying and ask the universal angels to release you touch open heal whatever situation is is and heal you Archangel Ragiel is good to call upon Archangel Michael Archangel Ragiel Archangel Sandoval um, and Archangel Sandoval will actually ground you in the month of July so you can go through so the first week is going to be a little bit of emotion but yet still it's going to be a wonderful profound time because you're changing and it is true because you have the energy of transformation an energy of transformation um, this is uh, um, I think it's 13 um, the energy and it's a really a transformation that is happening to you guys in um, the first week because I'm seeing a lot of people having a lot of situations to deal with um, kids uh, um, your parents I see a lot of people are helping out your parents helping out other people who um, are uh, on their journey you're making transformation for them but yet still you're making transformation for yourself so it's going to affect each and every person but in a different way but it's going to be an healing and a transformation and what this energy is saying to you is that learn learn to have gratitude learn to say thank you no matter what the situation is no matter how you have felt burdensome learn to say thank you because the lesson this lesson whenever you learn this lesson you don't have to relearn it and it's going to be okay as we move forward to the second week we have the energy of the ace of cups which is so beautiful the ace of cups is new love coming in for a lot of people new love so a lot of people who have broken up in the week before or who have decided to move on from a relationship from a situation that is burdensome new love a new experience new ways new parts are going to come in but this is all about new love is going to come in because some people will realize that they're connecting with their spirit guides and their cosmic cosmic family and this is going to change you as a person and as if you open up to the cosmic and you open up to your cosmic family and you're connecting with your cosmic family and you're realizing oh my god um, why haven't I done this before so new love is coming in for a lot of people and the universal angels and guides are going to help you um, to um, accept this new love and situation new um, love you know and it can be you're changing companies and you're going in a new company and new situations are going to come in your life whatever has happened because this is the terror this is the second um purple card that you have so the purple is always working on forgiveness okay the purple energy is always an healing and a spiritual healing that is coming in and it is saying forgive 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 okay forgive because sometimes people have done you wrong and you need to forgive and you know 
with the forgiveness whenever you forgive the energy vibration changes around you and the universe send you different things new things and positive things so whatever has happened while you were carrying that burden in the first week if forgiveness is going to heal whatever situation is happening in the second week okay so whatever it is open up your heart forgive that person forgive your partner forgive whoever has done you wrong use this week of forgiveness to cleanse the energy vibration because um, there is a lot of forgiveness that a lot of us have to do and um, you will wonder why um, they're not working um, people are not working on their positive energies but by you um, forgiving people because I see a lot of people trying to forgive their past forgive their childhood forgive their parents forgive um, partnership forgive friendship people who have done them wrong and they are really opening up to this energies of forgiveness and it's going to work out because the universal angels and beams are going to help you through it uh, the energy of number two is here in the reverse form so you are having clarity to certain things in um, your world and it says um, um, mental um, mental call conflict you have no mental conflict anymore because you have chosen the energy vibration of forgiveness so this is going to be a positive positive month of forgiveness forgiveness is going to come in in the second week okay so whatever the burden was in the first week in the second week you have no more mental conflicts the mental conflicts are no more here and the energy of forgiveness and then the ace of cups is coming up so it's as if I read your reading reverse because it should be the mental conflicts but I'm using the crystal toric and um, these things does happen um, when it comes in so we will see how this is going to um, work forward okay so remember forgiveness is in the second week and it's going to be a mental cleansing and you're going to come out with the ace of cups now I'm wondering how it should go forward with your region because uh, all I'm seeing is just it's working from behind coming forward so I, I guess I'll just go the way my angels and guides wants me to go okay in the third week which is your positive positive week you have the energy vibration of materialistic gains materialistic gains so this is wonderful for you guys I'm loving this for you so this is materialistic gains it's the number nine energy so expect money a lot of money a lot of um, help gifts that is going to come in to you unexpected gifts whenever the nine of Pentacles comes up it's always unexpected gifts money is coming to you help is coming to you that you weren't aware of that was available to you and this is going to help you to manifest and um, you know bring whatsoever balances a lot of people are going to be surprised at what happens to them in this uh, third week because the third week is for you guys it's really really your week where um, uh, gifts of money is going to pour into you your material gains are going to be increasing in a very high energy vibration way and this is good because you have the nine of Pentacles so the other message that you have it is miracles and we need to understand we need to go in yeah the energies of uh, the angels are here because it's just powerfully white and this is yeah there it is so, so um miracles you need to understand that if you ask for a miracle to a solution and you ask for a miracle right now if what is something if you're having burden if you are being you know um, being put on um, as, 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 as really you're being um, stapled on the cross for something ask for a miracle you know whatever situation that is going on ask for a result a resolution a miraculous resolution for you and you're going to see that a miracle will come in and the angels that work with miracle is Archangel Metatron and um, there are other and call upon the angels of miracle 
and uh, um, the angels of mercy and miracle and they will help you with whatever situation for some people who are not aware of uh, that there are miracles and don't believe in miracles they are miracles okay some people say it's luck it's not luck it's acts in the universe for a speedy speedy um, resolution to a problem and the energy of miracles is what you use to get that um, energy vibration in okay I'll show you the rest of the card and the last card that you have in the third week is a victory and success good news is on its way whatever that is um, a positive positive change with your financial situation as you have seen the nine of Pentacles is here and with miracles so you're if you are having a financial situation um, you are seeing now that a miraculous uh, um, a change is going to come in your life and good news is going to come about your financial situation if you were having financial problem okay so this is a wonderful week as the nine of uh, the energy of uh, uh, materialistic gains so the this card is a materialistic gains it is the equivalent to the nine of Pentacles and you have miracles and you have a victory and a success good news is on its way to you this is a wonderful 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 week for you guys in the third week this is what I've told you the energy of red your materialistic aspect will be um, changing in the third week as we move on and I'm going to do the energies of the three three as we move on we have the energy of um, my eyes are getting so bad people um, we are, have the energy of the number four energies the number four and it says uh, um, discontented and um, a burden um, 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 boredom discontented and boredom and the energy of discontented and boredom is this is as, as if the four of cups that you have received something and you're still bored you need something else you're feeling bored you have all this money around you all this gift all this stuff around you but yet still you're feeling bored you're not feeling comfortable um, in this and another wonderful magical energies that comes up uh, it is fate so you guys are so blessed in this week and obviously it's uh, showing you that the energy vibration of the cosmic energies and the cosmic family and intergalactic and energies are working because you can see in this card that in all of these cards there's always this um, white energy behind people in who are standing in this card and this is good because fate and miracles you have had in this month and that is what you're going to receive the Empress comes in and the last week to help you guys because the Empress is at a hurt energy vibration so this is very good because um, helping you she comes in to help you because you are governed door the energy of the Empress and the Empress is as if your motherly figure for you earth sign people and she is releasing you out of that burden uh, boredom and uh, disconnection and saying have faith have faith so for some people who have been waiting for something hoping and wishing for something have faith that it's going to come in because using the energy of the miracles and faith you are going to see a miraculous change in your life and the Empress is going to help you to carry that out um, for you women I'm getting be aware in the, the, the fourth week is a week of uh, fertility the mother energy of fertility. So, if you are looking forward to get pregnant, it's going to be a beautiful week to try because this is going to happen because you have faith, you have the empress. So, for the people who wants to manifest a baby, the energy vibration this week is very positive because if you are feeling boredom and disconnected because you were trying to conceive and you weren't conceiving, it's going to happen. Just have faith, keep the faith, hold the faith, and you will see that the mother of all things, the mother of Mother Earth, who is the, uh, the angel of fertility, she's always pregnant, is going to bring you whatever you are asking for, okay? I'm getting a lot of energies that a lot of people who are trying to get pregnant you need to have faith whatever that is and forever for where whoever um, this person is out there you need to have faith so as we look at this um, 
the energy here and we're going to go over the month and look at the energies what is happening the board um the the, the energy in the first week which is uh, transformation with that transformation you're going to be ill in your heart because by ill in your heart and having gratitude you're going to see changes happening in your life okay so with this gratitude this burden is going to fall away and there's going to be a transition a transition because you have the number 13 energy which is the energy of that of transmission transformation is going to be taking place in the first week okay the second week is that the mental conflict is over whatever mental conflict you have is over in the second week and you are going to have forgiveness 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 is going to come out forgiveness is the key and by having forgiveness you are going to receive new love coming in your life new situation new positive energy so the second week is going to be the week of forgiveness forgiveness as we go forward to the third week it's going to be a positive perform week is your best week you have the nine um, materialistic gains materialistic harvesting materialistic harvesting and then you have miracles so you will be magically asking your spirit guides to help you in the third week because they are going to bring forward um, that miracle that situation that you need to be ill your financial situation will be um, very high good news will be coming in for you Tauruses in the third week whole positive thoughts and positive energies and you're going to see that everything is going to work out the fourth week have you have boredom and then the first week fourth week with the boredom what is going to happen is that you need to have faith you need to have faith and by having faith in whatever you're trying to do the Empress the energy of the Empress is going to come out to help you and this is going to be wonderful there is something significant that my angels and guides want me to um, make you pay attention to and these cards are the chakra energy cards uh, chakra energy cards uh, and um, we're going to look at them very positive and very closely because there's a message here the first week you have have gratitude 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 is saying thank you thank you being honestly from the bottom of your heart being positive and honest and thank, saying thanks to the universal angels for the wonderful blessings no matter what it is um, fertility people trying to have babies are, are coming up so strongly in this month whatever the energy is uh, there's a lot of pregnancy um, there's good love a lot of people are going to find out that their partners are pregnant in the first week and expect a lot of people are going to be having babies in the first week because it's newborn it's a, um, a connection of love that is coming in it's a family so it's it's as you see there's a second pregnancy card so um, the energy and with the ace of cups and um, the pregnancy is always a new birth of baby so a lot of people will be getting pregnant in this week <laughs> yeah so the men you'll be fertile the women will be very fertile fertile in a materialistic, materialistic world but fertile also for bringing in kids the second energy is going to be forgiveness so a lot of forgiveness is going to be happening you need to forgive as you see is the purple border the purple border is always spiritual cleansing spiritual cleansing and healing the next color that you have in the third week is miracles and miracles is carried or the angels of miracles and you can call upon Archangel Uriel um, this is a positive energy for a lot of people out there and the last week we have another uh, healing and it's fate so this is so positive for you guys this is extremely positive to whatsoever is happening in your life um, having miracles and fate beside each other forgiveness gratitude forgiveness miracles and fate is uh, the profound wonderful four cards that could ever um, enter a reading because what it is saying to you is that what's the ever is happen it's going to be positive the burden is going to fall in the uh, second week you have the ace of cups new love new birth 
uh, third week good news so that is good news about love new relationships are going to be happening love and the fourth week is the Empress so this is a profound wonderful week because you're ending the month in your own energy vibration of the energy of the heart so um, I hope this is clear for you guys so whatever burden you feel some people could be having kids um, um, uh, delivery birth delivery and complications um, are coming up but um, forgive forgiveness the complications are going to happen um, through um, other people's uh, um, fault that they have made so you have to have forgiveness um, there's a lot of healing healing in the first and second week in the third week there is miracles miracles so if say that someone have a kid there was a complication whatever the kid is going to survive don't worry about this it's going to be happening there's a lot of love energies and there is energies that some people are going to have situation with a mother in the first week a sort of a, a situation that you find to be a burden but it's not a burden it is um, a lesson that you need to learn it is a lesson that you need to learn so this is going to be wonderful so we're moving forward and um, for you guys the energy of numbers you're not working on the energy vibration of numbers you're working on gratitude forgiveness miracles and faith that is what is going to be your healing and cleansing no numbers this month for whatever reason the universe and the angels and guides want you to look at the spirit world the intergalactic and beams will be coming in and working with your cosmic family I'm asking the angels and guides to show me the love energies for um, the Tauruses in the month of July please show me the love energies for the Taurus in the month of July yes love energies for Taurus in the month of July oh yeah okay okay um, in the first week it's going to be the clouds are going to be moving away the blockages of uh, whatever that was happening in your love relationship whatever that was um, taking place with you and family members that sort of a thing is is, is going to be changing in the first week whatever clouds that hung over your relationships uh, is going to be moving away okay um, the 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 energy of uh, um, the the burden that you have been carrying with whatever situation in your relationship world it's going to clear up there's going to come become a transformation of that as we look at the second week which is the ace of cups comes um, the energy of love so in the second week a lot of people because I said the second week new love and they're always showing me and say yes it's going to happen so in the second week you have the energy of love a lot of people are going to meet their soulmate because the energy of purple the the spiritual the intergalactic and beings uh, um, the spirit world is helping you to find that true love so twin flame uh, soulmate relationships are going to come in in the second week because you have the ace of cups and it's going to be a perform um, positive energy because if you're looking for a soulmate relationship a twin flame the connection um, with who you are as a spiritual being it's going to be coming in in the second week and this is going to be positive because I did say new love coming in the second week uh, well, the third week is going to be wonderful because you have the energy vibration of connecting you're going to be a lot of people are going to become very um, known so for the people who are working for themselves for the people who are connecting with the spirit world this sort of a thing a lot of people you're going to be protected by um, the the laws of the hurt the laws of the hurt um, protection is going to be there for you so whatever it is in your business world or whatever it is that is going on there is going to be a huge protection that is going to happen for you in the spirit world whatever is happening is going to be a positive energies because you're going to be protected by the law and regulation of this hurt okay so this is going to be good in the third week we have a situation whatever is going on there is there it needs to have faith in a situation and this situation have faith that whatever your materialistic world is whatever um, that you're trying to manifest in your life because when the Empress comes she's trying to balance your um, 3d world which is the materialistic aspect of yourself um, 
to support you to move on and this is going to happen for you so the love is coming in in the middle of the month so the second week remember the second week is a positive week to go out there and find a partner if you're for the people who are partner up the love is going to become strong because the spiritual guides and angels and intergalactic beams are going to help you with with that focus um, and in the third week you're going to be protected for whatever is happening especially the business people you're going to be protected if you are working in organization and that sort of a thing you're going to be promoted promotion is happening in the third week you're going to be promoted people are going to look at you highly and um, have you know and, and they're going to look up at you um, in the third week so what's the weather is happening in the middle of the month is the most beautiful time for you guys for love this is it's really a positive energies and what's the weather the burden was that you were carrying in the first week coming out of July uh, June in in the first week of July it's going to change the energy vibration is going to change so that's for love it's going to be wonderful if you're looking for love the second week is going to be a profound wonderful week for love and the third week is going to be for the people who are connecting with other people in organization and the business world that is going to be very good you're going to be spiritually protected people are going to be loving what you're doing okay all right we're moving forward to the zodiac energy business is going to be wonderful for you guys in the third week business in the third week business is going to be good but this month is more of an healing for you guys so it's an healing so whatsoever you're having in your world whether it's in your workplace in the third week a lot of promotions for a lot of people a lot of healing people who are having their business it's going to be um, a lot of healing for your business so your business is going to start to um, increase increase there's going to be an increase in um, your profits in your business and this is good we're moving on to the zodiac energies the zodiac and I know it's a, it's a long video because it's a monthly video for the Taurus Sun people remember the Sun people are people who were born um, six at uh, six o'clock in the morning until six o'clock in the evening you are the Sun people so what is happening for you guys you're going to have the liberals coming in the energy of the liberals are coming in so there's going to be balancing the energies of the liberals coming in for you Tauruses it's also um, they are going to work with you they're going to work out certain aspect of you in um, the week so if you have a legal situation for the people who were born between the hours of 6 a.m. and 6 p.m. and you had um, what legal situation you're going to win you're going to win these uh, whatever um, that was happening that burden that you're you were carrying you're going to win this burden and I'm getting the, some people were divorcing divorces is going to come finally and you are going to be receiving what it is that you wanted um, for some people who are legal situation you're going to win this situation the liberals are coming in also the liberals are teachers they teach you certain aspect when they're when they are vibrating on the high energy vibration so be aware of this this is going to be extremely good the other planetary aspect that you'll be working with is Uranus Uranus and uh, um the energy of Uranus coming in um the you know working with the liberals the liberals are always carrying the energy vibration of uh, the Venus which is love so a lot of people um who are looking for love is going to connect with a liberal the liberals okay so for the Tauruses that have been that is going to be looking for love the sun sign Tauruses that have, are out there looking for love you're going to be connecting with the liberals okay because they are a hair sign and they're ruled by Venus and Venus is the planet of love and they are going to be teaching you about love and how you can heal your emotional situation that surrounds love because that is like a burden for you in the first week okay for you sun sign people as we look at Uranus uh, Uranus is the Aquarians and uh, they are the hair people and they will be helping you with specific situation in your life okay so 
um, they will be helping you to formulate certain situation and they will be coming in to help you in your private life and in your you know your normal life so remember the planet of Uranus is governed um, door um, the Aquarian so expect to have air people you will be vibrating with air people you sun people you will be vibrating with hair people okay because you have the Libra and the planet of Uranus work with the Aquarians which is wonderful we're moving on to the moon people the lunar people which is the people who were born between 6 p.m. and 6 a.m. 6 p.m. and 6 a.m. and this is a very surprising profound because I'm just seeing it that uh, you will be working with Sagittarius and Sagittarius is a wonderful wonderful they're 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 wonderful fire people they are the best fire people I can honestly say so um, for you um, lunar people moon people people who were born um, 6 p.m. to 6 a.m. in the morning you're um, going to be connecting with a Sagittarius the Sagittarius they are going to bring luck in your life because the planet of Jupiter rules the salary Sagittarians and they're good people to do business with in the business sense you can connect with them in the other aspect of your you know your life they're very lucky people they bring luck to you so if you're in a study group and there's a Sagittarians they will bring luck to you whatever is happening they're coming in to bring luck for you um, um, Tauruses so this is good working with Sagittarians especially as an earth sign is extremely extremely good and what I have here is a Saturnus Saturnus and this is the planetary system you'll be working with and um, this um, planetary system because he's the goddess is is the Greek goddess and he rules Saturn and Saturn has to do with the Capricorn so um, some of you will be um, really really um, connecting with the Capricorn so you have to work with uh, um, the 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 Jupiter the planet of Jupiter and Saturn so for people who there are people who are looking forward to change jobs it's going to happen for you um, career change it's gonna be a career change for you guys um, it's more of a business sense it's more of a personal um, aspect you're working on a personal aspect of yourself so um, for you um, Taurus is out there it's going to be a profoundly wonderful for the moon side of the um, Taurus is going to be profoundly wonderful and some of you are going to um, connect uh, with the Capricorns in love uh, because uh, um, it's it's a planet you guys are vibrating on the same earth energy vibration and you have a, a, yeah it is strange but you have Sagittarius and Saturn um, with a Capricorn the Saturius is the governor of Saturn and Saturn rules the Capricorn people so this is wonderful for um, you um, moon people for the month of um, July so this you're ending July on a, a wonderful note working with um, Sagittarius and Saturius which govern the planet of Saturn this is this is luck this is luck coming in with the energy vibration of, uh, of, 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 of the Sagittarius, they're bringing you Taurus's luck. And with the planet of Saturn, um, a lot of career changes. People are going to be changing their careers uh, in this month. So it's going to be um, extremely, extremely good for you guys. Okay. Your last and final card. Your last and final card. Let's see what the spiritual beams from the Mudras card wants to say to you and it's going to be surrender surrender okay surrender okay so red red seems to be a vital focus of um, your month and this um, is the prani dharma and it says assist the assistance of this is to release so in the first week you're going to release the burden that you have been carrying in the second week um, support is going to be coming in and the, the, the last week grounding is going to happen for you because the Empress comes in she's the mother energy she's bringing balance okay 
what is the benefit of this card is reducing tension support element 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 um um detox in your system and the reproductive organs so it comes back that a lot of you have something to do with pregnancy baby and it has really to do with baby pregnancy people who are looking to be pregnant people who are going to hear that they're pregnant that sort of a thing the slow and direct breathing in um, the pelvis okay slow and direct breathing in the pelvis okay be caution um, if you have low blood pressure do not do this energy what is showing on on the paper okay so to do this it's going to be this way and uh, the index finger has to be here and the little finger so it's going to be like this okay so before doing this it's releasing so be aware that you you should not have if you do this you know if you do the surrendering and that's why I'm showing you the picture if you do the surrendering do not do it if you have low blood pressure okay it's going to affect you what will be your focus your focus is going to be with deep awareness I surrender what I no longer need so this is going to be a focus with deep surrender I surrender what I no longer need with deep awareness I surrender what I no longer need so this is going to be a wonderful wonderful profound um, month for of Ju July for you guys because there's going to be a lot of cleansing that is happening a lot of changes that is happening but these are good changes and what is going to affect you in this month the number energies I have to um, yeah it's not all the time that you guys receive a number but the number 13 is going to be your number because I am seeing it coming back twice in these readings so the number 13 remember your third week is going to be the best week surrender whatsoever is happening surrender you need to surrender the burden that you have been carrying and I want to say to each and every person please remember listen to the general readings because sometimes the general readings will bring in information that is not said in this reading and please remember love is the only thing that is real and um, we need to be a positive and namaste to the folk in the way till next month